Hey there, Scarface Zens here. Today I will be teaching you how to use the new Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Beam 2.0 Game Pack. Before we start, make sure to join my Discord server at discord.gg slash Scarface Zens. First, open Zen Studio and go to the Programmer tab. Scroll down until you find Call of Duty B06 Beam 2.0. Drag it into any available slot, then press save. Now you are ready to start setting up the game pack. Next, open up Call of Duty B06 and go into your game settings. These settings must be copied exactly for the script to work. Set your horizontal and vertical stick sensitivities to four. Turn controller vibration on. Set trigger effect to full haptics. Now change these dead zone settings. Left stick min to 5, left stick max to 75, right stick min to 10, right stick max to 99. Set L2 and R2 button, dead zone to 13. I know these values might look strange. Don't worry. You can change sensitivity and dead zones inside the game pack later. In the aiming tab, set all your sensitivity multipliers to 1. Once that's done, we can configure the Beam 2.0 game pack. Here are the controls you need to know. Hold L2 and Options to open the menu. Use the D-pad to scroll through options. Use Circle and X to enter or exit settings. Use left and right on the D-pad to choose your button layout. I use Default so I select Default. Press down on the D-pad to go to Stick Layout. Use left and right to pick your layout. I pick Default again. Press X to enter the Response Curve menu. Choose your curve. Then, press X again to set sensitivities. I set my dead zones to 3. Adds, sensitivity to 45. Hip fire sensitivity to 37. This is my preference. If it feels slow to you, increase the values. Press circle twice to exit this setting. Press down on the D-pad to go to the in-game field of view section. Use left and right to choose affected or independent. Press X and set the same FOV that you use in-game. Press circle to go back. Press down again to enter block rumble. Press right to disable rumble. Press down to go to anti-recoil. Leave this setting as it is. Press down twice to go to silent aim. Press right to choose silent aim version six. This gives you strong and sticky aim. Press down and then press X. Press right to scroll through Aim Assist Boost Options. I use number one, but pick what works for you. On Fire Mods, press right to turn on Rapid Fire. Press down twice to go to Miss Mods. Press X and scroll down to find Hair Triggers. Press right to enable. Now that everything is set up, here are a few tips. The Game Pack has automatic weapon detection, but sometimes it won't detect your weapon correctly. To fix this, Press touchpad and R3 at the same time. Remember, auto weapon detection only works in matches. It will not work in the firing range. Also, for anti-recoil to work properly, do not use attachments that change your weapon's recoil. That includes vertical grips or compensators. Use attachments that do not affect recoil. Now I'll show a quick gameplay demo. As you can see, when I aim and shoot, the Zen detects the weapon and removes all the recoil. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Once again, join my Discord at discord.gg slash ScarfaceZens to get support and connect with other Zen users. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys later.